Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing, 100 nothing.com. I am Fug It! And that stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. And today, guys, I want to tell you the dirtiest word in the English language when it comes to success. And that word is sacrifice. Okay? Now, think about this, right? We live in a country, if you're in North America, United States, country of abundance, right? Um, I had a birthday yesterday, and it's always interesting because, you know, when you're young, whether it's Christmas or holidays, your birthday, um, you know, you want a bike, you want this, you want that. But when you get older, you know, you have a lot of your wants and needs already taken care of, and it's hard for people to buy for you because you can simply get it yourself if you're fortunate, um, and but most of us can. So it's really hard to get somebody something, right? So when you have things that you want, you get used to comfort. You get used to having it your way, right? And we don't like to like have um, just enough or we don't like to cut back. You know, it's just something in our DNA. It's probably survival instincts, but um, you know, think about like whenever you're gonna have people over for a party, you know, you, you, a lot of times as the host, your fear is running out of stuff. Um, Thanksgiving, you know, the abundance spread on the table and you don't want to run out of food. You know, it's it's like there's a, it's almost like a sign of failure or lack, right? And same it is with our lives. You know, we spend, you know, years and um, our time and everything else trying to build a lifestyle that we like, you know. We get X amount of sleep. We have this much work. We like this kind of entertainment. We want this many vacation days a year. We want to wear these kind of clothes. We want to drive this kind of car. And sometimes when you're trying to go to the next level, especially if you're an entrepreneur, you're somebody who's trying to build something and you don't have capital, right, um, to invest in either equipment or in personnel or whatever, now you're doing things on a very tight or zero budget. And the thing is, is that one resource you do have um, oftentimes is time. And if, you know, you don't want to sacrifice either sleep or entertainment time, TV time, whatever it is, um, you're going to have a hard time reaching success because it's going to take some level of sacrifice. And people don't like to hear that, but it's ultimately, you know, the truth that something's going to be sacrificed. Sometimes people at the very, very top, they sacrifice their families to get there. I'm not saying that's right, I'm just saying that's what they did, is they were willing to do anything and everything they could to become successful. And uh, same it is with um, fitness, right? To be fit, to be lean, to be cut. Um, in our gym, there's a bunch of bodybuilders that um, were getting ready for a competition. And when I would take a few minutes and talk to them about their preparation, their you know, what they take as far as, you know, how many years, um, you know, they've been training this hard. How long has this contest cycle prep been? You know, they're in the gym, you know, two, three times a day or sometimes for, you know, three to four hours a day. And you can see the psychological toll it takes on them. You know, they've sacrificed so much. They haven't gone out to, out to eat or drink with their friends, you know, they're getting to bed early so they get enough sleep that their body can recover from these workouts. They've sacrificed because when they get on stage, you know, that's where the payoff is gonna come. You know, they see, you know, they have their, um, the end in mind, you know, and they're pushing towards that and they've understood, um, and that's probably one of the best visual, uh, um, um, visual um, examples of sacrifice and success because if you're not if your diet's not dialed in if you haven't been in the gym your supplements are off whatever it's going to show when you get on that stage you know physically you know the, the the visual result is evident there and it's fascinating it's really interesting so that is the dirtiest word when it comes to success you guys is sacrifice nobody wants to do it and there's a reason it's called sacrifice because you have to give up something in order to get something else. So, time or treasure, something's gonna, something's gotta give. All right guys, like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you again soon, take care.